Jaden, come in. Luan? Oh, come on, Luan, answer me. You there? Ah, oh, great. I fixed the transmitter, and now you go radio silent. What do you need? Let's try again later. Pleasure trading with you. Probably not. My joint hurts. Means it'll probably rain again. Who the fuck cares? You may not care, but I can afford poor cars. You want? I got. Thank you. 
barely recognized him. He had the energy of someone half his age. Good seeing you. This is Frank on Radio Free Villador. Your neighbor, your city, once more and forevermore. Signing off. Talk to me, Frank. Look, we started off on the wrong foot. I'd like to correct that mistake. Have a drink. Yeah? For me. Uh, Frank, I really don't have time for this. I, I have to find another way to find my... Just listen. attention now with those renegades yes but how did you the tv station used to be controlled by the military they did more than just broadcast from there thanks to you we can now listen in on the enemy it appears that waltz is looking for the same database you're after but the observatory is completely soaked with chemicals <laughs> i have no idea how this gre crap works but Waltz sure seems to know. Maybe the observatory is not the only place to access the database. Is this conversation all you have? Uh, for now. But if we got close to their position and hacked into their frequency, we could collect more intel on Waltz's plans. How? The transmission you heard was intercepted near an old military antenna in the wharf, just south of Marsh End Lane. If we adjust the frequency, We'll be able to hear everything they say, every syllable. And you'd know exactly what Waltz is up to. It'd be quicker if I could just find him. You're impatient, I understand. I know what it feels like to have wasted too much time. But you have to tread carefully. Remember, you said Waltz turned the power back on. Then the renegades invaded the central loop. There's something going on. So best to collect as much intel as we can before you confront him. So, you think Waltz ordered the Renegades into the Central Loop? Well, until now, the Colonel kept him on a short leash in his stronghold. But the savages we've been seeing lately... What the fuck? Something must have changed. One of the PKs told me that Waltz is after something called, uh, X-13. Doesn't ring any bells. Tell me more about these antennas. The military installed them on the tallest buildings to blanket the entire city. They're extremely hard to access, but all we need is the one nearest to where those renegades were based. When the signal's stronger, we'll be able to hear everything they say. Now the good thing is, it's the closest antenna to the canteen. You shouldn't have trouble finding it. Anything else before I get going? Oh, one more thing. Look at that poster, Aiden. Night runners used to abide by that creed, live by it. I used to think we were as torn apart as that piece of paper, but the creed still means something. And if you increase the range, I can contact the remnants of the old night runners. Some must still be alive. I see it now. This means a lot to you, doesn't it? Not just me, to everyone here, but there's one piece missing. Do you know why I haven't thrown this poster away in all this time? Because of Luan. When I saw her for the first time, she was maybe, what, eight, nine years old. She was barely alive. She looked like she hadn't eaten in a year. And she was trying to help some kids get a crystal back from a thief. The guy was threatening them with a knife. He was twice their size, stronger, and she jumped on him, bit his hands so deep that his screams were heard as far away as old Villador. After that, she gave the crystal to one of the boys and left. She didn't get anything out of it. She didn't have to risk it. I looked at her and thought, this is all we have left. As humans, 
We can fight one another. Everybody just for themselves. Or, no matter what, we can stand up for each other. Then I wrote down this credo. That little girl helped the Night Runners become who they were for years. And if we are to be reborn, we cannot do it without her. Why not without her? You see, she's a tough one. Maybe too tough. I trained her, helped heal her wounds, but never healed the biggest one. Revenge. She's built a mighty thick wall around herself. Can't seem to let go of her anger. If she doesn't, it could destroy her. <laughs> I know, I know. Drunk calling the kettle black, right? I'm in no position to judge, Frank. Thanks. No one's so fucking obsessed with her kill list. She needs to throw that damn thing away. Otherwise, it'll kill her. Let's hope she's better fighting them than I am. What are Luan's demons? Almost too many to count. But Satan himself is at the top. Well, you mean Hakon? You know him? Yeah, we've met. It all came down to the TV station mission. Hakon was against that from the start. Got Killian on his side. He said it was suicide. But I know the truth. The fucker chickened out, plain and simple. Till then, he wasn't just a night runner to me. I thought he was leader material. But he didn't have our backs. Tore the creed in half before he bolted, and with it, tore apart the night runners themselves. Fucking coward. Didn't deserve to lick Lawan's boots. <sighs> Look, I'm starting to get pissed off, and we should focus. What about Hakon killing Lucas? Hmm? That took some balls. Sure, but they weren't his balls, they were Waltz's. Hakon's just the guy's lapdog now. Sit, roll over, assassinate. That's true. Neutered dogs are even more obedient than they were before. Exactly. Okay, I'm on my way. Then go get him. I'll be on the radio. You remind me of Luan, before she became obsessed with that goddamn hit list of hers. I'll get ears on the Renegades for you. I'll find out what Waltz is up to. I promise. Good day, Philidor. Frank is back. Oh, hey, it's you. Frank, I got the antenna going. Okay, let's see what these bastards are talking about. Down the guys and head east. Waltz is. We need to meet him. They're moving, Aiden. They said they're going to meet Waltz, heading east. There is another antenna on top of a condominium at the intersection of St. Paul Boulevard and Peach Street. 
just by the entrance of the main canal. Get it working, and we can keep up with them. Got it. Tends to close the sluice gates and back the chemicals up into the city. But his stronghold will be destroyed as well, so this evacuation wouldn't make sense. We need to expand the range to find out more. Frank, I activated the second antenna. The renegades were here, on the roof. Speaking of renegades, hearing more chatter. Meeting in Garrison Boulevard, all opposite. Waltz will be there to give us orders. Anything new about that pilgrim? No, but he found someone who'll help him access the database. If you know something new about that fucking pilgrim, let me know. Keep fucking. Frank, I need to get to where they are. You heard the maiden. Waltz is looking for you. He's got a way to access the database. <laughs> he found someone. He's too strong for you, and you'll be playing straight into his hand. If that's the only way to find out the truth, then so be it. You're stubborn, kiddo. Stubborn like Lawan. I'll be in touch. Looks like he started his painting. <laughs> I wonder what it's gonna be. Looking sharp, Aiden. Good to see you. Aiden, you've been around a while. More people massacred in the tower. <laughs> What the fuck is this guy? <laughs> 
Walt was right. These fuckers were eavesdropping on us. First him, then we'll get that GRE employee from the old Philidor. And the boss will be over the moon. Where's Walt? Walt? We don't need Walt to deal with you. Oh, good old Frank. So naive. Warning people. Talking way too much. Got him! I think so. Yeah. Waltz wasn't here. And they know we're eavesdropping on them. I know. You know? Someone tried to tip me off, but the warning came too late. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I... <clears throat> my infection just flared up. The renegades were talking about some GRE doctor from the bazaar. Waltz is looking for him, too. Former GRE and old Villador? I'll look into it. Who tried to tip you off? Well... That's the strangest part. It was Hakon. He wants to meet with you. I thought he left the city. 
Well, he's still kicking, and he'll be waiting for you at the church on St. Paul Island. He's got the goods on Waltz. And hell, maybe he knows something about Luan, too. But why do you think he knows anything about Luan? First of all, because she was after him. But also, because it's much more complicated than that. You see, the last time she went off radar like this was when this fucker dumped her. So, if she's not answering now, I'm getting really worried this is something more, and Hakon could be involved. Wait, what do you mean, something more? I'm afraid she's found a lead on Hakon, and she means to hunt him again. Which means she could get herself into trouble. Do you know what really made the Night Runner special, Aiden? I mean, true heroes? It wasn't the inhibitors, not the strength or speed they granted us. For the Night Runners, it was balance that set us apart. Self control. That's why Lawan couldn't become a Night Runner. Not because she was too young. She was the fastest, braver than a lot of my men. But she couldn't achieve balance. Um, oh, self control. <laughs> this should be good. Don't laugh. We used inhibitors, but they didn't use us. We had a focus on mental and emotional strength. Not just physical abilities. Balance. Physical strength is important. But it's what you do with it that determines what kind of human being you are. That's why Hakon's betrayal hurt us so much. I'll go meet with Hakon, Frank. You try and find out what happened to Luan. Just remember, they're listening to you two. Will do, Aiden. Be careful. Who knows what Hakon is up to? I'm going back to the fisheye. Good luck. <laughs>